Have you ever felt that the Terraria Summoner class was not up to par to the other three classes in the game? In this video, my goal is to fix the Summoner class and bring it to its true glory. Today, we are going to be expanding Terraria Summoner class. We are going to be using mods to bring out the full potential of the Summoner class. The Summoner class, in my opinion, is one of the weaker content-wise classes in all of Terraria. Compared to all the other classes, it really just lacks replayability and options when it comes to playthroughs. We're going to be breaking this video into categories. And each category is going to be adding some mods that help benefit the summoner class where I think it's lacking content. So let's hop into our first category and that is just adding in more overall summon weapons to the progression of the game. So the main point of this category is to add in more options for summoner players to choose from. For example, when you start up a melee only playthrough, you get so many options at the beginning of the game. You could use a spear, you could use a yo-yo, boomerang, swords, short swords, and so on and so forth. When you start up a summoner playthrough whether you want to use a whip a sentry or just a regular summon you don't really have too many options not to mention literally the first option a summoner can get their hands on that being the finch staff is an rng based spawn with that said the first mod we'll be adding is the amulet of many minions mod this mod is easily one of the best pure summoner content mods out there it adds in tons of summons especially summons that you can get at the start of the game without having to kill something or rely on rng this mod also adds in the ability Ability to turn regular terraria pets into summons there's a lot more content this mod adds in but we'll go over that in a later category so the next mod we're adding in here is the storm divers additions mod this mod is just another random addition content mod that adds in tons of items armors accessories everything it not only adds in more regular summoner weapons throughout progression but the main thing we are getting from this mod is more sentry weapons added through progression the last thing we're looking to add here is some more options for whips and in my opinion vanilla Terraria did really well in filling out whips, but you could always use more to choose from. With that said, the next mod we're installing is the full collection of United Mods. This is another mod like the previous mod we added in that just adds in overall a lot of content to the game that's really good, but mainly it adds in more whips. On top of adding a bunch of more whips to choose from, it also adds in accessories specifically made for whips. But that should bring an end to our first category. The next category I want to focus on is adding in more subclasses to summoner compared to many other classes summoner only realistically has three subclasses which is not bad compared to the past but in vanilla terraria sentries they aren't really the greatest thing there's not much about them but whips and just regular summoner staffs they're fine luckily for us some of the mods we already installed add in a new subclass that being the amulet of many minions mod and the squire subclass it adds in the squire are summoner weapons that send out one powerful squire minion that is controlled by you the player sort of like a yo-yo or magic missile it sort of adds in a more hands-on and involved way to attack as a summoner instead of just sitting back and letting your summons do all the work which i could appreciate a lot because being a summoner sometimes if you're not just sitting there whipping things it can't be boring just sitting back and doing nothing next up after that we have the swarm staffs mod this mod adds in staffs that summon in little swarms of minions that are weaker overall but only take one minion slot to summon in three to four of them this is an idea that i thought should have been in vanilla terraria imagine instead of summoning one big hornet with the hornet staff it summons in a little swarm of tiny hornets that swarm and attack your enemies it's a cool little idea the mod itself is pretty small right now but hopefully in the future it adds in more and more content based on this idea because i really think it's a unique and cool idea the last subclass i have here is really optional because it requires installing the mod of redemption which is a giant terraria content mod this subclass is the crux card sub class the crux cards from this mod use lost souls which is a drop from the mod and they don't use any minion slots if you played elden ring you're pretty much summoning in spirit ashes and i think it's a really dope concept especially since it doesn't use summon slots which gives you even more output to do damage and just have some more unique summon attacks so that's why i would recommend this but also mod of redemption is probably like a top three terraria content mod right now so there's no harm in having it in a mod pack or playthrough that should wrap up this category honestly there isn't really too many mods alone that just add in summoner subclasses without having to install like a giant content mod on the side or just installing a mod that pretty much adds in its whole new own classes for example there's the cerebral mod which adds in a whole sentry class but it's its own class it's the defender class and it does its own damage and stuff but with that said let's move on to our next category the next category we're focusing on here is armor and accessories now terraria armor progression is a very odd 
mod thing as in in pre-hard mode there's barely any progression for most classes besides like one armor set and once you get to hard mode there's a lot of progression for armor sets you can choose from for all classes so really here what we want is a couple of mods just to fill in some of the gaps in progression and luckily again with most of the mods we have installed already some of those progression gaps are filled the amulet of many minions mod adds in a nice little mushroom themed armor set that you can get your hands on right at the beginning of the game with the summoner armor progression fix we now move on to the accessories now i believe unless i miscounted or just couldn't find it with my calculations i believe that the summoner class pre-hard mode has a total of one accessory i know i know calm down it's a lot of variety to choose from luckily again the mods we already installed add in more accessories that not only fit into progression where there's no accessories but it adds in a ton of variety and just unique accessories in general another mod we will be adding though is the whip accessories mod which for anyone that wants to have a little bit extra benefit from their whips or just wants to do whip only as a summoner this mod adds in a bunch of more accessories that will help you out if you really want to get extreme with accessories you could always download a mod like the fargo's mod which adds in all those ultimate souls and enchantments that can make classes and just builds in general really op but that's up to you that's an optional install with most of our basic problems fixed with the summoner class let's move on to our last category that category being the mechanics now summoner is a fairly basic and straightforward class but some of its mechanics do have some downfalls and just missing things in general for example till this very day we still don't have a minion counter that shows us how many minions we have summoned at once and for some reason the developers of Terraria still don't want to add one in even after a lot of people have asked for one just something give us a number on the screen or something man but that's why we're going to install the summoners association mod this mod adds in multiple quality of life features and on top of that a minion incentive tree counter another mechanic with the summoner that we're going to fix is the pathfinding sometimes minions just straight up get stuck or they just don't keep up with you when you're running really fast and that could easily screw you over so with the mods we have installed we get things like the pathfinding rod from the amulet of mini minions mod which as the name indicates will help your minions pathfind to specific locations on top of that we're going to install a mod called summoner shine this is going to be the mod that fixes a lot of other problems with summoner including the one where the minions have trouble keeping up with the player's speed this mod also allows minions to be able to crit and also have their speed modified by reforges and as an added bonus the mod even adds in some right click abilities for some of the vanilla summon staffs which gives you even more unique ways to fight as a summoner with those mods added that really wraps up everything i want to touch with summoner now you could always add in more mods especially big content mods if you want more content with this mod pack but in terms of focusing on summoner stuff i think it's good to go let us now hop into some gameplay with this what summoner should have been mod pack all right so we are in the world with our better summoner slash what summoner should have been mod pack and we're doing summon damage only obviously so this sword get it out of here we need to get our hands on a summon and luckily for us that's possible without having to find a living wood tree look at this right here boom acorn staff nice i don't have to pray to the rng lords that a finch staff spawns let alone a good living wood tree with loot in it yeah we got our acorn staff we bring in our little acorn look at that we can already do damage at the beginning of the game on top of that we can get a piece of armor for our first armor set here the mildew armor set we need some day balloons we need some mushrooms nice let's get our hands on that all right i have gathered enough mushrooms let us make this mildew armor set and boom there's all the pieces let's put it on fits the summoner theme perfectly this is how i expect the summoner to look like i don't know yeah let's go ahead let's read the set bonus here set bonus your minions will release damaging fungi while attacking nice Nice. on top of making that armor set we also do have the option to make this uh, wooden braces right here it gives us increased whip damage even though we currently don't have a whip it's all good you know might as well craft it nice little early game summon accessory either way i'm wanting to get my hands on an early game whip here and it seems like this chain whip is going to be the way to go but we do need some iron though shouldn't be a problem all right after a little bit of caving here i got everything we need to make a whip and some more let's start with the whip though okay what am i missing i'm missing stone don't tell me i need to go mine stone. okay now i got 25 is that enough please be enough yes okay enough chain whip and we can actually turn it into a flaming whip we might as well and of course it gets sluggish on it sweet awesome we got a whip though on top of that i talked to this dude over here let's go ahead let's just tp over here just so you can see him my boy blandwood the tree bark dryad from modern redemption bought the goodies from him the living twig stuff which i also believe you can make a summoner set out of yeah but the main thing we're crafting here with this stuff is this, this log staff, because this 
gives us a bad reforge awesome but no it gives us a nice little sentry look at that and on top of that i got some grasshoppers here because this is going to allow us to make a swarm staff so let me just get my hands on some more wood and now we should be able to craft it and boom we got some more variety for our early game summons we got a whip we got a sentry we got a couple of summons all right we're gonna take on the king slime i got a new armor set here we got this living wood set which gives us an extra minion we're gonna use this rat staff which summons in a little group of rats and then i think we're gonna use yeah let's use the uh swarm staff here we got rats and flies i'm the dirtiest summoner ever we're gonna bring in our squire here if you remember the squires we got our whip we got our sentry let's get it i have a high faith in beating this boss i think primarily we are probably going to use the squire just because it, it's good distance the whip i have to get a little bit close and i don't know how i feel about that maybe we get like a hit or two with it just to get whatever buff it has off i have faith now this sentry on the other hand not the greatest it looks like it only shoots in a certain arc so i really gotta find the strategy here and using it and that is maybe like spawning it like okay i thought spawning it right in front of the slime would be perfect but it's fine it's fine i don't know i guess just put it far away and just hope that it attacks somehow now this is super early me finding the king slime usually you know I'm a, I'm a pretty slow terraria player so me personally i'd probably take a long time before i fight the king slime at least have a little bit better gear than this but this gear is definitely doable i want to see if i want to switch it up here let's take out the locust and let's do double rats we going with the double rats let's see how the double rats works out fight is almost over here i'm just trying to crowd control while i let the minions do the work let me make sure i'm targeting but i think we bring out the squire to end it keep our distance don't take any necessary unnecessary risk as i get hit twice in a row it's all good i got the w in the end that's all that matters and boom king slime dead we killed our first boss in the run i think we'll do one more boss here so we're gonna go through trying to get some better gear better summons all that we have upgraded our gear as you can see let me take this flower off my head i look cooler with the helmet like this yeah better squire uh better whip as you can see our whip has whips on the whip that's a whole lot of whips we got this accessory that increases our damage the more variety of minions we use so as you can see instead of just using the same minions i got some variety out here and that gives us a little buff a very nice feature from the amulet of many minions mod we got a better sentry here in this thing uh we got these little mushroom mages you know a whole lot of upgrades we're gonna fight a modded boss here this modded boss should not be too bad uh you can't only spawn it at the day though so i have to make sure that we have enough daytime because i have no idea if it despawns at night who knows Thank God we got multiple platforms because that would have hurt if we got hit by that, whatever was on the little platform. So you can see our sentry doing some work. Let's bring in the uh, squire here. Now, this is a cool little squire. It shoots a little water bolt. That's not what it's called. Aqua scepter, something like that. But I think we stick with the whip. The whip is looking like the best in terms of damage. I got an accessory right here that's buffing it. What's going on? Oh, the camera's hooked on to him. I got scared. I thought he like sucked me in. I thought he was doing a crazy move, but so far we're beating his ass. It's looking real good. That should be an easy W. Yes, sir. Forgot to buff. Didn't matter. We're going to skip to nighttime. I know I said one boss, but we might as well find another one in the eye of Cthulhu. Why not? Maybe even one more after this. Another modded boss after this. I do have another spawner sitting around. Uh, hopefully, it's not too dark. I know I didn't really place any torches. Yeah, our whips still got really low range, so we might want to bust out this dude. This dude might have even lower range than our whips, honestly. But he's putting out solid damage. We have an accessory here. This, which one? This one right here. And it gives us a little ant. A little nice little ant minion. Uh, I don't think it takes up any minion slots, which is really good. Just straight up an extra minion, which that's the whole point about summon. Now, I am going to ask for you guys' help in the comments here. In terms of accessories, I feel like we can find one more mod that adds in more minion or summon accessories. Especially ones that give us, like, at least one more minion early game. Because, like, really early game, it really seems like one to two minions is really where you stop at. Even with all the mods I have installed, there still isn't too many accessories very early game. Oh, speak about summons. So we got an eyeball staff now is this a summon is this a century let's see okay it just looks like a regular summon just some nice little eyeballs following us around shoot might as well one more boss i do have this this laying around yes it is a boss okay hopefully this isn't too hard of a boss it should be beatable oh my god and then it shoots out that luckily i did not get hit but i did get hit there it's got some it's got some crazy attacks we gotta try our best to dodge these. I don't have too much movement. Actually, this is really not bad movement for early game. 
Could be better. I somehow healed. I swear my finger was not on my heal button. As long as I could somewhat read the attacks that I barely know, but you know, if I'm, hey, I'm reading them. You saw those dodges? Okay, never mind. Take it back. Oh my god. Terrifying boss. Terraria low keys a horror game. Okay, these attacks are starting to hit me. I, I need to uh, play careful here because I don't have a potion anymore. I accidentally wasted the potion. Somehow, my, my heal button is Q. I don't know what you guys use, but Q is right next to my movement keys. It's easy for me to hit. Uh, I would put it on a mouse button. I should heal. I should heal. Nurse saved me. Thank you. She came in clutch there. The nurse was pretty much our healing potion since I wasted it. This is kind of an intense fight. Like, this might be a perfect time to fight this boss because, like, it's intense, but not too intense to where, like, it's impossible. Like, I might be in the perfect spot or have the perfect equipment to fight a boss like this. Because I didn't want it to be a breeze like the other bosses were. Needed me a little challenge there. Nice. But yeah, here are all the mods. It's a nice little pack. We potentially might be doing a playthrough. I've been waiting to do a summoner only playthrough again in master mode, but I'm waiting for Team Mod Loader 1.4.4, which we're still waiting to come out, taking forever. So who knows when that's going to drop. But yeah, here's all the mods that I was using in this little gameplay here. You can obviously change out and add whatever you want, but this, this is what we're working with when making the summoner better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do you want to see more videos like it? Let me know. We could do this for not only classes, but we could say like, make a theme mod pack around like oceans or something we can make like a medieval theme mod pack it might be harder to do in terraria than like other games like minecraft or skyrim which have like even more and more mods to choose from of any category but uh, I, I might be able to make it possible i just gotta do some deep digging in the mod browser yeah thank you for watching i'll see y'all next time